Well, I bet you weren't expecting to see this. What's up guys, Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of Saving Schalke. And let's just finish this series here. Schalke are saved. Every siding we've made has been an absolute 10 out of 10 hit. Today we face the biggest challenge of all. We've got Frankfurt, we have Bayern Munich, and then we have our DFB Pokal game. But let's run through the start of the season. I hope you enjoyed the bumper episode last time out. If not, go catch up because that's our big summer transfer window episode. Off camera, we beat Union Berlin 2-1. We just beat Bochum 4-0. Like I said, Frankfurt, Bayern and Hertha all coming up today. I don't think I could ask for much more from the signings. DK is on an 8.5. He's gone five goals in three games. Larson's on a 7.1. Templeman's been incredible. He's played an 8.7. The ratings on these players, it's only three games into the season, but my God, they are playing well. I'm hoping I can bring you some of that today. Frankfurt have been a very good team. Goetze and Paco are their key players. They do have Zaire Emery in midfield. Lucas Nemech is a very good player as well. Playing wing play, but this 4 1 2 1 2 is doing the work. The only change I'm making from the usual starting eleven is Lawrence is coming in at centre-back. And you're going to be wondering, he's like the sixth highest centre-back at the club. He's not very good rated, but trust me, he's six foot seven with all the play styles. He plays like an absolute boss. I don't think I could have asked for much more from a start to the season. Three out of three in the league. Frankfurt are probably the toughest team we've faced just yet. And they will give us the best indication to where we're truly at. Maybe we've just carried some good form up with us. But this team, every signing is playing incredibly well. The players are just reacting to exactly what we want to do. And I couldn't ask for more from them. Kurt's in the box. Okay, fair enough. Zaire Emery puts their 1-0 up. That shuts me up five minutes in. I think that's just me dragging Spielers out and then dragging Lawrence out. Zaire Emery's free, less than 12 yards away from the goal. Not a lot Muller can do about that. Still have complete faith in this team. The way we're playing. I just want to showcase that to you today more than anything. That's a very deep ball. And where's the defence? Goetze gets a shot on Muller. Good save. The defence aren't quite there, are they? They need to wake up. Oh, Goetze has got three in the box again. Marmouche is free. That time we do have defenders in the way. Why is no one sticking a leg out? This is where I, I, I've, in, I've been enjoying 4 one 2 one 2 but this is where I should be playing five at the back. It's a wing play with a very wide team. It's spreading our defence out and creating gaps. Last gives it up to DK. DK on the turn. Goes back out to Templeman. I could have really just drove in a bit more of him. Hannibal's got a chance. Goes one, but it's wide at the post. Lasme nicks it. Hannibal's got it. DK... Out to Templeman. They've absolutely gave us a chance back into the game. And Templeman continues his impressive start to the season. It's really, really good. Lasme's chased the ball down. We've worked it back. Templeman's got a clear shot on goal. And he's very good at that. Just left foot across the keeper sort of finish. Chibi's got down the root wing. The other side of Brudder. Drags it back to Nemecha. Zaire Emery. This is where they're quite good. Just on the edge. Gets a shot away. Muller makes a diving save. That's dangerous because he's just free in the box. Marmouche in the box. He's got loads of space. Good save by Muller. We're trying to just work it out though. DK. There's Templeman. Now we're breaking from their dangerous looking attack. I need DK to make that run. It's going to him. Daryl DK makes it six. What a counter attack. Absolutely incredible player. He's so strong on the ball. I thought it weren't going to swap me from Lasme. Eventually it does. And DK just diving headers it back across the goalkeeper. How many times are we going to see him do that in this save? I reckon plenty more. What I've been hoping to showcase has come true. We've, we're in the goals in the Bundesliga. We struggled at times in the Bundesliga too. But this season, we look like we've got our scoring boots. Holds it back for Hannibal. Hannibal to Larson. This is Larson against his former club. I don't think I've actually mentioned that. He's been brilliant since the start of the season. Lasme, Templeman again on the edge, left foot, good block. Positive start. Hannibal's the one to take the corner, puts it in. Daryl DK, the target, not quite winning that. Spielers knocks it down. DK manages to kick it into his other leg, I think. I don't know if Trap actually made that save. We're just playing that risky pass, trying to draw him onto us a little bit and see if we can create a gap this way. Hannibal's got through. 
Hannibal in the box. Ball rolls past his man on his right foot. Pokes it across. Kevin Trapp. Good save. Collins has the run on Brudder. Spielers can't quite get it. We relied on Muller again to make a brilliant save. That's dangerous. That is very dangerous. And Mecha heads it off of the post. Nothing Muller could do about that one. Chibi knocks it up. Mamouche. Lawrence has to put a foot in and he does. What a tackle by the big man. Oh, Gertzay's just ball rolled around us. That's not a good sign. Gertzay on it again. Edge of the box. Chibi. Brunner goes for a bit of a push. He gets turned. Gertz are in the box. I could feel that coming. Mario Gertz just turned it on in the last couple of minutes. Since he did those ball rolls against us, it just felt like a goal was coming from him. He's free in the box. It's a good finish across. Muller, I'm not expecting him to make that save. Fair enough. I'm going to bring Aiden on. I'm going to bring Farner on. I'm going to bring Kitalana on. All right, can we counter attack straight away for Farner? Just gets pushed a little bit. Thank you, ref, for giving that foul. Farna to knock it straight up quickly to Hannibal. DK, just looking for an angle for him to get a shot away. Probably not that one. Lawrence with a brilliant tackle on Marmouche. Shame he's not really come out with the ball there. Marmouche has got the other side of him. The Metro in the box. Spielers with a brilliant dive. Metro with a great one up to DK for Farna. Want him to turn past the man, but it doesn't matter. Kitalano's there. And he drag it back in for Farner's a man we want in the box. Kevin Trapp just deals with it straight at him. The Metro in the box gives it to Gertz. Uh, Muller with another save. It's not like they haven't had chances. I think it's been probably slightly edged in their favour in this game. But I think we've had a good account for ourselves against a very decent Frankfurt side. Gertz puts it in. Pacho gets ahead. Muller deals with it. Metro needs to put this in. It's going towards DK. And he's headed straight at Kevin Trapp. There was the chance right to death. 3-2 loss. But I'm not massively unhappy with it. I know I need to try and improve defensively. Should have probably used the five back against a wing playing team. It's Bayern Munich up next. And it's a weird team they are putting out. They've got Musiala, Mancini, Neuer, Tarr, Nabry all on the bench. And I know the ratings of Bookman. He's, he's like a bronze rated player. Look at that 66 defence, 74 midfield. They're not fielding a strong side. They're not taking us seriously. Tick Attacker is their play style. Harry Kane and Coman, the key players. It's a three and a half star buying team. What are they doing? I mean, everything being said, I am going to line up with this five at the back. Lawrence comes in. Kim comes in. Aiden and Uri Jan make back four change. Templeman's got to keep his place over Kitsilano because he's been brilliant. And Lazme and DK have been good. They're gettable, this Bayern Munich team. It's a very gettable team. Going forward, it's a very scary team. Kane, Muller, Komen are the three to highlight and the three to look out for. But Morrison's like a 70-rated player. Kabadai is someone we had on loan at the start of his save and he didn't even get into our team, not just because we didn't play wingers. But he was like 67 rated. He just weren't good enough for us. Kane gets it. Muller in the box. Lawrence with a big block against his former club. Kane's just playing with it in the corner. I know he's got the dribbling ability just to beat me. Kane takes a heavy touch in the box. Gives it off to Nicolay. We've not really got anyone near the ball. How's he snuck through that? Good save, Muller. Kane he has snuck past us there. Saar in the box. Gives it back to Nicolay. We've got Templeman running at it. Morrison is the guy. Hugo Larson goes for a tackle, but it doesn't get there. Muller with a good catch. As much as I'm scared of them going forward, I'm really looking forward to seeing what DK and Lazme can do against his Bayern defence. I feel like we played tougher defences last year in the Bundesliga too. lazme has been absolutely swiped at by Nicoli. What card is this? A yellow card. That's absolutely fine. So much as I've been slagging off this Bayern Munich team, I cannot get near them at all. Every time we, we're coming out of it, they are just winning it back in really dangerous positions, keeping hold of it sensibly and looking dangerous coming forward. Kaiman should really have scored that. DK has done well just to give it out to Uijan. He's in the box. You know what? He's just going to go for it. Perez, what a save. That's a good sign from us. I do see the big man at the back post. Jamie Lawrence goes up, wins his header. And scores against his former club. Keeper did not look interested. This is why 69 rated, 6 foot 7, Lawrence is in the team ahead of the likes of Baumgartel at the minute. 
and he is a threat all over the pitch. Absolutely towering header puts us 1-0 up against Germany's big dog. Simple man. Puts it there for Lasme. He's done really well to take it under control. Lasme in the box. Goes to slot it under. Why didn't I just shoot? Because Templeman can try and bend one. Larson nicks it though. Now we've got a tails up. We've got Bayern's number now. We've got to come at us. Can. Puts it across. Mejbri's there. Mejbri's on side. That's our advantage doubled straight away. There's every possibility we can batter Bayern Munich now. Their reserve defence against our inform attack is a mismatch in my opinion if Mejbri gets on the end of that he can't miss it they've already made a change by Munich Muller's come off Musiala's come on I don't know if that's injury dependent or whether they've realized they've got to take us a bit more seriously Musiala straight away puts in for Kane and deficit is halved that's all it took just bring Musiala on he can do a ball roll he can get past the defense and Kane will always finish them Larson gives it to Templeman. Lasme just sprints past the defence like they're not there. Goes for the left footed shot. We know he's got that in his locker. DK. Oh, I wanted him to hit that with his left foot back to Templeman. At least then it would have had a chance at finding a way. More of the same in the second half. Thank you very much. We've looked for portions of that first half for the better team. Bayern definitely did for the first 20 minutes. But we've came into it very much since then. They've worked it out there. Nicoli gives it to Nabry straight off the bench. Looking for an impact. Gets it around Coman. Jamie Lawrence has let him get the other side. He's done a turn on it. That fills me with fear. But it also has worked. So thank you. Oh, we've given it away really poorly there. Coman's coming forward. Lawrence can't get near. I need Kim to come over. Kim can't get near. Lawrence with a sly tackle. And that is why he's in this back line. He's so good. And from that tackle, look where we've got. Lasme takes it, keeps it in just. Goes for the turn, gets it. Where's he gone? Templeman, you know what? Power shot it. Good save, Perez. Coleman gets around Uwe Jan a bit easily. Into the box. Lawrence goes for a risky slide tackle. Muller makes one save. Muller makes two saves. And we've cleared it. Bayern are trying to look a bit more dangerous now. Kane on it. That's a dangerous one. Nabry on it. Coman on it. But Kim this time is a defender who just flings himself in the way. I'm loving this defence. They're absolutely flinging themselves at everything. Kane puts it up. Nabry with a bit of space. But he just puts it backwards for Saar. Nabry and Coman are the two that are scaring me most. Kim puts a tackle in on Musiala. And he just slides in and puts it out for a goal kick. Time for changes. Ile, Kitalano, Reina all coming on. Considering this is our first game against Bayern Munich. I think we couldn't ask for much more. We've been ahead for a large portion of this game. Could go further ahead now. Reina can't get it around Saar. And he's got the ball in his own defensive third. But for a large portion of his game we've been ahead. Bayern are coming at us. They didn't take us seriously. We've took them very seriously. We swapped to the five at the back and it's worked. Defenders are just like warriors at the minute for us. Just need one more minute of brilliant defending. Saar gets tackled by Reina. Go for the long one up. DK heads it down to Ile. And that is it. We've seen it out. 92 minutes played and we have come out on top against Germany's biggest team. 2-1 win. Over a weakened by Munich, let's say. Heard to Berlin of the opponents in the first round of the Pokal. Rigi has been signed for them and looks a decent player for them. As you can remember, the last game of the Bundesliga 2 that we played was a 4-3 loss to them in a game where we really weren't that good at all. So there's a chance for some other players to get a go. We are going to quicks in this one. We've lost 2-1. Bergval did get the goal, but unfortunately it weren't quite enough. It's not to worry though, this season is all about surviving the Bundesliga. And as you can see, that is ridiculous. We're still top of the Bundesliga. Four wins, one loss. I think if Bayern took us seriously, it would have been a completely different story. They're down in 11. They'll start their season at some point soon. I think I'm going to probably play the rest of this month off camera. Bring you Leipzig, Wolfsburg, Augsburg... And then I'm probably going to bring you the Dortmund Hoffenheim leg. And then we're in January already. So it's going to be a quick season this one. That's what I love about the Bundesliga. How fast paced everything is. 
Don't expect us to be top at the start of next episode. I'm not expecting it. With the squad that we've got, we're decent. And I'd be going for mid-table, but I wouldn't be going for anything higher. Now, if you have enjoyed today, please leave a like on the video. Comment with any feedback. Subscribe to see more from us. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.